I have rights. I have the right of education. I have the right to play. I have the right to sing. I have the right to talk. I have the right to go to market. I have the right to speak up. She's become the voice for girls around the world. In 2011, CNN interviewed Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani girl who gained international headlines two years earlier for speaking out for girls' education through a blog she wrote under a pseudonym. When I see my name in the newspaper, I feel that, yeah, God has given uh, this honor to me and I shall accept it. Malala's life changed forever on October 9, 2012. While on her way home from school in Pakistan's Swat Valley, a group of armed Taliban boarded her school bus, asked for her by name and shot her in the head. Two of her classmates were also wounded in the attack. But Malala's injuries were so severe, doctors didn't think she'd survive. She was airlifted to a military hospital in Peshawar, where she had surgery to remove the bullet lodged in her shoulder. From the UAE to Germany to the US, Doctors from around the world offered to treat the young girl. But ultimately, Malala flew to the UK, where she continued treatment at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. When hearing about the attack, people around the world were inspired by her courage. Many attended prayer vigils and lit candles. We want justice! Others stood in support of her efforts through rallies, holding up her picture and demanding change. Malala was discharged from the hospital in January and underwent reconstructive surgery a month later. In 2011, when asked why it was important for her to take up this cause, she told our Reza Saya... When I looked at my, at my people and my, my school fellows and, and the ban on the girls' education and the, and the Taliban, so I thought that I must stand up for my rights, the right of education, the right for peace, Malala is attending school in the UK, but she continues her fight for education and worldwide support for her continues despite threats from the Taliban. Fanula Sweeney, CNN, New York.